Confident Computing number 826. Just what is common sense? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com for the 826th edition of Confident Computing, the weekly newsletter. So our featured article this week is indeed just what is common sense? Lord knows we suggest that you use common sense often, but what does it mean to have and use common sense? Featured article this week actually includes a list of things that I'm sure you're already very familiar with. The hard part, of course, is bringing those to bear when you really, really should be. Also this week, do I need those Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables? It's a controversial topic and it's somewhat frustrating. There may be an answer, but the pragmatic answer is, you know, it's not worth worrying about. Microsoft Office free in Windows 10? Well, yes and no. Yes, in that there is a free version of Microsoft Office that you can use not just in Windows 10, but pretty much any web browser you might have. And no, in that it's not the Microsoft Office you're necessarily thinking of. The good news, however, it is the Microsoft Office that might very well be enough for most everything you want to do. The top reason your computer is slow and what to do about it. You may not necessarily like the answer, but if this answer applies to your situation, the great news is that it is something that is completely in your control. On YouTube this week, in addition to videos relating to the articles I just mentioned, there's a new one about how long should a password be? Our thinking on what it means to be a long enough password has changed, so much so that length actually ends up trumping just about anything else you might think of doing to create a password. And again this week, the video that I shot in a pasture discussing some of my experiences out at Microsoft. On the TEH podcast this week, Gary and I reflect on the fact that we're both sitting in smoke. He's got it in Denver. I've got it up here in Seattle. The wildland fires that are in both of our areas are surprisingly strong, surprisingly smoky and affecting us both, even though we're a thousand miles apart. Technology related, we talk about the new network that I'm in the process of deploying here at home. And Gary shares his frustration in trying to get rid of a piece of networking equipment that he no longer needs. And of course, we talk about what we're watching on TV and all sorts of other things. That's this week's TEH podcast, number 111, Fires, Networks, Selling on eBay, Real Law Video Game Battles, and Cool Shows. That's pretty much it for this week's Confident Computing number 826, just what is common sense. I hope you found something useful. I hope you found something helpful. If nothing else, I hope you found something entertaining. If you're not a subscriber, I've actually got two options for you. One is if you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure and hit the subscribe button for my channel. You'll get these weekly newsletter videos along with videos that are being released throughout the week. And if you're at all interested in the email newsletter, be sure and sign up for Confident Computing at newsletter.askleo.com. Thanks again. As always, I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Take care.